We have no soldiers in the area. Uh, we've been talking to Turkey for three years. They've been wanting to do this for many years, as you know. They've been fighting each other for centuries. They've been fighting each other for uh, hundreds of years. This has been going on. Uh, we were put into this battle, interjected. It was supposed to be a 30-day 30, a 30 period, and we've been there for many, many years. And it's time to get out. We're speaking to both sides. Uh, we've told uh, President Erdogan how we feel, but we are speaking to both sides, and we're seeing what can be made out of a situation. But we have no soldiers in the area. You know, we're getting out of the endless wars. We have to do it. And eventually, somebody was going to have to make the decision. And frankly, we're getting a lot of praise from that decision. We People are saying, can I sometime bring our people back home? We're really serving, and we were serving as a police force. We had defeated ISIS. We defeated the caliphate 100 percent. In a statement this morning, you cautioned Erdogan. Since then, it appears as though there have been casualties on the Kurdish side. Are you concerned about escalation, and are you concerned that Erdogan will try to wipe out the Kurds? I will wipe out his economy if that happens. I've already done it once with Pastor Brunson. Uh, I'm sure that he — I hope that he will act rationally. You do have to understand, they've been fighting each other for many, many decades. Actually, for centuries, they've been fighting each other. Mr. Graham is talking about imposing economic sanctions on Turkey over this incursion into Syria. What do you think about that? Well, I think it's okay. I, I've already told that to President Erdogan. Far more than sanctions. I want to — I'll do far more than sanctions. Lindsay uh, and I'd feel differently. I think Lindsay would like to stay there for the next 200 years and maybe add a couple of hundred thousand people every place. But I disagree with Lindsay on that. But I, I will tell you that I do agree on sanctions, but I actually think much tougher than sanctions if he doesn't do it in as humane a way as possible. But I've gotten him to stop for virtually from the first day that I was in office. But they've wanted to fight, and that's the way it is, and they've done it for so long. Yes, go ahead, please. So what does this humane way as possible actually mean? Because well, we're going to have to see. Humanity. We're going to have to define that as we go along. Uh, they want to uh, — if you listen to Erdogan, he wants to uh, have people uh, go back to where they came from, go back to Syria. Right now, he's holding — in all fairness to him, he's holding millions of people. That would be all over the place if he wasn't holding them. So he wants to repatriate. He wants to have them go back into the area that he's looking at. But we'll see. We'll see how he does it. He can do it in a soft manner. He can do it in a very tough manner. And if he does it unfairly, he's going to pay a very big economic price. Mr. President.